We just launched into a game at Wright Patterson Mahjong online. If you are new to Wright Patterson Mahjong, look for a link in the video description below. I can send you information about how to get involved in the public beta testing. You might see some strange goings on because it is in beta testing. They are continuing to develop the program, but we can practice. Let's see what we can do with these tiles. I'm going to sort by clicking. Let's go full screen here real quick. Here we go. All right. I'm going to sort by clicking that little AZ in the upper right corner. We have mostly dots. Now, right now, the robots are passing bams and cracks. So we're going to be swimming upstream for this one. Let's pass one, eight, crack, seven, bam. And we'll be happy if we get dots. We got bams. You can still practice decision making, even if it's going to be a challenge. Also, the passing is off. It goes right, left, across, which is not correct, but they're going to fix it. All right, now we can get started one pick at a time because we're done with the Charleston. We're going to let the BAMs go and we're going to hoard dots and honors. We have a pair of fives and a pair of sixes. We could maybe play Betty. That's number 10. On page 17 of the green two dots. If you don't have the green book, look for a link in the video description below so you can get one. It has Eight all characters. the rules and hands in it, and it's published about every six years. This one was just published last year. Seven characters. We'll let the eight go. So these hands will be with us for a while. We can get used to them. All right, so Betty is number seven 10 on page 17. One pair, no duplicates four or dots. terminals. Terminals are ones and nines, so we'd have to let the nine dot go. And then you need seven odd honors. And what that means is Eight characters. we got a dot. That's good. We'll just tuck that in. So uh, seven odd honors is one of each wind and dragon. And then, of course, you need one five pair. Dots. One of those paired. We're not, we're concealed. Actually, all the pair hands are concealed on page 17. So if you're prompted, just ignore it because there are some nine characters you can chow and pong, jewel hands. And just if you want to know, nine dots, hands, we'll let that go. Jewel hands are on page 20. So in this particular case, Let's see, three, four, five, seven, nine. We have th uh, five, six. Six. So dots. I wouldn't play a jewel hand because you either need two, three, four, six, eight, or three, four, five, seven, nine for opal or pearl, which really won't work for us because we have a pair of sixes or and then a pair of one character. Use both. So I would not think about playing there. So we're gonna two play bamboos. Our hands maybe. Oh, we got a keeper east. I'm thinking maybe Betty, number 10, three pairs in one suit, no terminals. We still have one offsuit tile. So you want to get to a place where you're cleared to one suit and honors for many of these. Seven bamboos. So that means that you have one suit with any mixture of winds and dragons. Six characters. That's cleared to one suit and honors. It's also called a half flesh. Three characters. That's what I like to call it. But as far as Wright Patterson Mahjong, it's called a one suit and honors. A lot of syllables. I shorten it by saying half flush. Nine bamboos. Two syllables. And then one suit. Eight dots. Be all dots, but that would be a flush. So you can save your breath a little bit. <laughs> Five characters. Not that it really matters much. Okay, so four bam can go. We get, we're getting really close to seven odd honors. So uh, next I would discard the nine dot. Incidentally, the robots tend to hoard honors. And when you play with one character people in person, lots of players do like to nine keep characters. honors because you can get value in those tiles sometimes. So Two characters. we may have to draw into this hand. We can call for the winning tile. Some some of these hands, you have to draw the last tile. There are a few of those. 
but not in this case. One bamboo. So once we get to ready, we'll be able to call for Monshan. Six characters. So let's see if we can get a north, a green dragon, and then pair up one more dot. Three characters. We did, we got a four dot. Okay, so let's discard the nine dot. Now let's look out there. We're cleared. We're cleared to a half flush. So uh, there's a four, a two dot out and a four dot out. As far as what we have in here, one there's character. also an eight dot out. Two, four, eight. So really the three dot Seven is dots. probably the best tile to pair up if possible. There are four of every tile. Six bamboos. No jokers. So at the moment we're we're two away from ready for Betty. So now we wait. We just have to wait our turn. Nine bamboos. We're concealed. <clears throat> two dots. Oh, okay. So two dot is out. We can we can still draw the last two. Four dots. Oh, there's a four dot. So the two and the four would be good discards if we get a keeper here. We got a six dot, which is a pung tile. We really don't need that. Four, five, six. Let's let the two go. Okay, now this happens sometimes when you run up to the, the timer. So you just click return to my game and the game is going to quickly redeal the tiles. You might want to plug your ears because it's a little bit of sensory overload. So here we go. I, I'm hoping that they'll change this when when the game is ready for release. Two dots, seven bamboos, eight characters, seven dots, seven characters. All right. Four bamboos. Yeah, that's kind of strange when that happens. Eight characters. And it took my six dot, by the way, which is fine. Five dots. No, we're not. We're staying concealed. Did you see that zero down here? Oh, my my little camera is covering that up a little bit, but that's okay. All right, so we have two pair. No dragons. No waters are out at all. No winds or dragons yet. We four need a dots. north and a green dragon. Okay, now the four dot. Three four dots are out, so that will be the ideal four discard characters. next. Hopefully, we'll get a keeper here. For Betty. one bamboo, six crack. <clears throat> so four dot can go next. Let's see what else. Five dot six dot paired up. There are two two dots one out. Dot. Pung. I don't think we missed anything here. Six bamboos. Seven. Okay, so we're going to let the four dot go, and then we're going to look at the sevens. I think there's only, there are two out. So there's some there's some potential there. Now, there is a hand in here. Eight characters. Here. I thought there was a hand in here with three consecutive pungs. There it is. Three consecutive pungs. Four characters. Page 18, number 17. Harmony. Two characters. Four, dragon and a pair of owner prevailing wind. We do have some potential for harmony. No, no, no. No, we don't because two seven dots are out and we would need to pung the seven. So we don't have potential there. Three dots. That's a good hand to think of if you if you get to a place where you might consider three dots for exposures for pungs in that case but not this time nine characters we keep getting cracks so we're gonna stick with betty number 10 on page 17. two three dots are five out bamboos two three dots are out two two dots two seven dots and one dot one eight dot, one eight dot is out Seven bamboos. Nine dot. We don't need that. That's a terminal. You can't use terminals with this hand. 
ones and nines are terminals. The reason they call them that is because they begin Five in bamboos. of one through nine. So they, they're on the end. Seven characters. I don't know. I don't know why they picked that particular Nine word. dots. Okay, we're good there. We'll pass. One crack. Oh, shoot. Okay, now we have one, two, three more picks. And we have two discards. So we're going to need to pick a keeper with this next pick, or we'll probably need seven to dots. Defense. We have two discards right now. Six bamboos. Picks. So really we have, no, no, we have two picks left. Three characters. We did not get it. So we won't be able to win this game. We still need a north, a green, and we need another pair. That's three tiles, or two tiles to get ready. And three bamboos. Here, maybe we do get two picks. If we get a keeper on this next one, we might win. Three characters. Let's see. No. One bamboo. Our turn, and that's not a keeper. So it's good to count your discards, uh, count the discards in your hand, and compare that to the number of picks left in the wall to determine your Two potential dumps. to get the tiles you need. You also have to look at the tiles Four characters. that have been discarded or exposed. We do get another pick. Eight dots. And yeah, no, we're not, we're letting that go. And that was the last, the last tile. If you want to practice decision making by playing online, look for a link in the video description below so you can take part in the public beta testing. This platform should be released by the end of the year or maybe the first part of the year. So now's the time to practice so you can hit the ground running when the game goes live. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.